Today we're visiting the UK's most hated football club. Hate, it sits beside love in our brains and consciousness and leads us to disgust and disdain. Much like me for literally anything in the world. Smile for once, Ellis. Liven up. Anyway, there's a lot of contenders for the UK's most hated football club. Leeds, Millwall, Chelsea, Manchester City, Ipswich Town because I've been sports and I hate him currently. However, one club has always and still always tops the list for this. Milton Keynes Dons. The story behind this and the reasons are interesting and the tide may be beginning to eventually turn. We're actually going to cover the facts in more detail throughout the video as to why they're hated. Before we get into that, 10,000 likes and we'll do this at the Europe's most hated football club. But for now, let's get off to the place which is just, it's just loads of roundabouts. Welcome to Milton Keynes and welcome Welcome to Away Days. Morning, Ben. Morning. I was in Jamaica 27 hours ago. No, you're in a car with me. Off to Milton Keynes. Oh. And it is minus two. Sign in the distance, Stadium MK. I do like the videos more when we have like a... Uh, we're not... You missed the turning, didn't you, Ben? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Here we are. Those who have been a fan of the channel for a while will know we've been here a few times before. We've never sat in the home end, and we're here today to cover and find out more about the club from a home perspective. Well, we might be an MK. Oh, sh it was a joke. <laughs> Also, the word joke is used very loosely here. Look at us putting the dons in MK dons. <laughs> Can we get a coffee, please? I'm so tired. Don't let it be overstated. The size of that Asda is very impressive. I'll give you some facts about Milton Keynes when we get inside the, the coffee shop. What was the point about Asda? <laughs> Before we go any further into this, so we were sat and just getting a coffee. What has gone on this sofa? Unspeakable things have happened on there, haven't they? It's not a great start to Milton Keynes. So obviously, we'll, we'll cover why people hate MK Dons in a minute once I've woken up a bit. But do you want some fun facts about Milton Keynes as a place? It's home to over 120 roundabouts. There's 20,000 parking spaces in central Milton Keynes. Oh, do you want more? There's an Odeon outside the stadium. Really good. Yeah. No, that, that, is, that is all I have noted down. This is my job. I do read all the comments in the most recent away days. A few people have noted about my skin. Just to very quickly jump in, I know, like I also know. I went to the GP the other day. He looked at me and went, I'm gonna level with you, it's bad. I was like, I've got people on the internet telling me, you're supposed to do something about it. Right, let's discuss where MK Dons are hate. So obviously today we're coming at this from the angle of like, do people really hate MK Dons? In my opinion, like, I'm a Leeds fan, you're a Liverpool fan. I think our clubs are more hated. Chelsea are more hated, Man U are more hated. And actually now, I'm trying to see what the younger generation of fans have here. Because pe people always say support your local team. But if you're a young person in Milton Keynes, obviously this is your local team now. So and, uh, 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 teams have existed less time than them and are still liked, like Chelsea and Man City. You get it, it's a oh, it's football banter, we have fun here. Anyway, Alfie, animation's on screen right now. This is why MK Dons are supposedly the most hated club in England. It's gonna be, this is a long one. I'm so sorry, Alfie, it's gonna be an, a to edit. That's what you get for the Bradford video. It goes back to the 1990s when Wimbledon FC, a historic UK football club, hit a financial crisis and moved from their home, Plow Lane, to Crystal Palace and played the games at Selhurst Park. They stayed there until 2001. Then Pete Bunkelman, the club's current chairman, decided to move the club from Wimbledon 60 miles away to here in Milton Keynes. Quick sidebar for American viewers here, just to jump in here. It's not normal for our sports teams to move. I know it's more commonplace in North America. I know it's people don't like it necessarily over there, but that's weird. We don't move sports teams here. We hate them from where we live or your Leeds fan lives in Norfolk. Eventually the club entered administration and Winkleman stepped in and bought the club out of administration and renamed the team to MK Dons, changing the club's name and also changed the club's iconic blue and yellow colours to white. That just completely just changed the club completely. It's easy to see why there is a distaste. And by 2007, they completely dropped any reference to the old club, like even dropping the fact they won in a historic FA Cup, like one of the most iconic FA Cup wins of all time was technically won by this club. It's really weird gray area, but they don't mention that they did it anymore. They completely forgot the existence of the old club. In the meantime, throughout all of this, AFC Wimbledon, a Phoenix club of the old Wimbledon club formed, which gained national and worldwide press and ended up getting people on board for them. And to be honest, my preference in, in regards to Wimbledon and MK Dons will be always Wimbledon because it's the historic club that has gone through the ashes, started at the bottom, 
and then they now play. They've played each other in the league system now. So it's an amazing like, underdog fairy tale story in the English football pyramid, and it's, it's a really cool story. This club has usually been seen as a shell of a club that's ripped and dishonored the history of one of Britain's historic clubs. It uprooted a fan base and divided them entirely and took the soul out of that club, something which we just do not do here, which is why you'll never see an example of, like, say, a Red Bull sponsored team in England. However, after all of that, it has now been over 20 years since all of that happened and a new fan base has came through the club. We're going to speak to a few fans today and see what their perspective is on the club, whether they agree, whether they should be considered hated or not, whether they embrace it and just what a match day experience is like in the home end of an MK Dons game. We're going with an open mind today. Let's look around Asda. I should probably speak about this video sponsor, shouldn't I? I'm joking, they have no idea who we are. But I'll be honest, we're, we're in Asda. Once again, I know Ben always says it sometimes that why do people watch these? We're walking around Asda and Ben has just turned to me and gone, this is quality, isn't it? <laughs> we are the most, I, uh, this is what I want to do once again. I understand why people find us tragic. No one's ever called an Asda quality. It's quality. <laughs> I've never been to Ikea before. How are you feeling? We'll do a pre-match. Being honest, post. feeling shocked if anyone's still watching the football video. <laughs> Go on, Ben, take a seat in that sofa. Okay, why? <laughs> so, why are you looking to get into <laughs> Test it out, give it a lie down. I don't know if we'll both fit on that. All these units around here, but there's only one I've got my eyes on. Because you go to the gym and you're, yeah, that's just. Of all the countries in the world, I just cannot help but feeling that the UK does not need ninja classes. Go to Japan once a month, shut up about it. Carl, let's go to Wagamama's. Oh, look at me, I went to Japan. People are going to use this as a stick to beat against this club. Having a Wagamama's and a Nando's next to your stadium is a win in my eyes. Cheers to the UK's most hated football club. Cheers. Same amount of staff as they have people in the stands, Ben. No, we're not doing that. We're on their side today. Morning. Hi, right, can we just grab two tickets, please? Cheers for a pre-match pint. The thing is, after that Stone Island, we needed to calm down so much. We are yeah. now drinking milkshake. We've been to Blackpool. I did eat some ganja rock. Yeah, that was terrible. Hopefully the police aren't watching this. So I'm joined by? Jamie. Simon. My name's Adam. What is it like being an MK Dons fan? You get some stick quite a lot of time, especially going away from these big clubs, because apparently we don't have any fans, but you got people coming here week in week out still it's it's good obviously there's been some some ups and downs obviously it's uh, a lot of hate but we deal with it well we put up with the stick put up with the hate it's part of being a dons fan i guess we love it but being an mk dons fan in particular i love it what do you make i was gonna say what do you make of the label of one of the uk's most hated clubs i don't care <laughs> none, of us, none of us care about it none of us care about any of the hate we thrive off it I understand obviously where it comes from with how we came about and everything and I, t I see why people say it. I think people label us as the most hated club just without really looking into it. When you see clubs like Man City, Chelsea, like Premier League fans getting involved in League 2 when most of them don't even go to games. Like. And I guess a lot of people set aside with AFC Wimbledon on the, whole, on the whole rivalry stuff without really looking into what actually happened. AFC Wimbledon, all of their fans kind of abandoned their club before we'd even taken it effectively. AFC Wimbledon, as you may know, in the build-up, all they talk about is how much they hate us and how much they need to beat us. How Don's fans a lot of times see it is that we saved the club. We saved all, all the people who worked for that club would have gone bust. They would have lost their jobs. So we saved a, a dying club. But a lot of people don't see it that way. They see it that we stole the club, that we've ripped out the heart of a community who in the end didn't really want it anymore so welcome to the mk arena again watch out ben behind you stop being so ignorant <laughs> is this a suzuki <laughs> oh good i spoke to some gillingham fans all day but they're bringing a hot one and a half thousand fans and i do stand by it this is an unbelievable away day like uh, there's an away fan i've been with leeds coventry portsmouth it is unbelievable in that away end so obviously the attendance is it's a 30,000 seater. Ben actually said off camera. What did you say off camera? It's one of the best stadiums in the UK. And you mean that? Yeah. Obviously, they said it's a 30,000 seater. They average around six to 7,000 fans, which I will say about that is when Leeds were in League One when I was growing up, 
we were doing around 18, 20,000 in Ellen Road, and we're known for having, we're a very old club, but six times older. I'm obviously sitting on the fence, and I've said things about this club's existence in the past that my opinion hasn't really changed on. It's interesting getting the expected of fans here. I can see why their fans would be a bit like, well, hang on a minute, we're only 20 years old, like, we're building a fan base, and we're in League Two. So I can sort of see both sides there. So we spoke to more MK Dons fans, and once again, it's been really interesting. They said it's really interesting with their rivalry with Wimbledon, but Wimbledon won't ever, ever acknowledge the club's existence. So that's why this rival, Wimbledon MK Dons, will never be on TV. Um, you can never really hear comms for it because Wimbledon will never agree to do it out of principle of MK Dons taking the club, for example. The MK Dons fans that we've all spoken to sort of get it as well, but they're all saying like we lean into it now, like hate us all you want, like that's the club's identity. And like me and Ben are like, fair play. Like if that's what you want to be, if you want to be the hated club, then just be that, like, own it. We've also got a 39 year old left back, so I like old Ben, like playing football. When that, I met, we met me and met man outside the crowd. His name's Simon, and he said he what he knows all away days because of his children watching the videos. So Ben is so excited, and he said, "Don't give a stick throughout the game." So apologies for the 90 minutes of hell you're about to get, Simon. Simon! <laughs> Simon! Simon! <laughs> <laughs> that you've just done that. Just scream Simon. That's the thing about Simon, as soon as he steps on that hollow turf, he's all business. There's no time for friendship outside of this. A full time, come and shake your hand, but during the game, he's all business, thank you. I'm convinced no one has ever scored a goal in one of these shooting drills in a warm-up. For fuck's sake. Go again. I'm convinced no one has ever scored a goal in one of these shooting drills in a warm-up. So it's a very young fan base, but also the club's 22 years old or something like that, so what? what you'd expect though. For those invested, we have moved closer to try and get hello from Simon. So that is how our, the next two hours of our lives are going to be spent. I mean, it is when you pan around, you do see the stadium that is absolutely far too big for this club at the moment. The reason I'm not really touching on the negatives too much is because I've, I've done that, or previously everyone's done that. So it's more like trying to show what positives with the club as well, so don't go to the other end. Don't go to the other end, Simon. You're better than that. Now get ready to clap Simon over here. Simon watches there, by the way. Um, we probably won't. We can't spend a whole night. We, we can. We, we, can. we can. We've definitely we can. We've paid money. <laughs> 52 quid, by the way. <laughs> also, this is a good example for how Twitter is just all talk. In the past, I've had a few people tweet me saying, if I ever came to an MK Don's game in the home end, be attacked. I don't know why, I think people think I'm someone else. Obviously not happened. I think people see us and they're like, oh wow, oh, no. never mess with them. Imagine being one of the lucky people to sit in the, the red circle. What a privilege that would be. There he is. We're supposed to be covering like the most hate. We just ended up only our channel. Only we can make a video about a hated club about a linesman. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, but I think a uh, defender is in our stand. They've got ketchup on a steak pie. Do you want to go alert steward? <laughs> ben, we're 10 minutes in. In the atmosphere, admittedly, the fans actually, if I started recording this, the Gillingham fans, I've just started charting football in a library. And in fairness, do you think it would be better if they restricted the amount of fans they've got into one area? I think like, the problem with the stadium... Everyone to one yeah, side. everyone, it, it's weird having people so spaced out. If anything, to me, it looks worse having just people scattered there. I don't know the best way to do it, but it's just quite eerie with the atmosphere. But I also guess there's the problem of having such a soulless soulless bowl stadium, you know what I mean? Like, this is one of the first examples of it in England, really. And any comments about any atmosphere, either good or bad in this video, people might say you need to be in, I don't ever believe you need to be directly in atmosphere for it to be good. We are sat close enough to it to have an objective opinion on it. And also, we never go in the atmosphere anyway nowadays. We like to see it from afar. So this is our usual location. I'll tell you guys not put a foot wrong on this pitch. It's the man in black right there. Not one foot been put wrong. Like, you ready? There's a corner, but he whipped in. And whatever happens, he won't, just won't miss it. He won't miss it. So that's, a that's a goal kick, that is. Well, see, well, exemplary.
for a walk around the loop because I think it's just maybe the worst game of football we've seen in a while. You just far to say so far it's the worst game of football we've ever seen. Um, we've seen some stinkers. Norwich, Stoke Norwich was the worst personally, but this is up there. This might top it. I do like the concourse here, how it loops round. You know what it reminds me of? It's the roger shout of the Japan National Stadium. How the concourse loops round. Carpeted, duct taped concourse. What do, you want to, what do we say about the first half? We've got a Twix. Oh, one sec. First half might have been boring, but hopefully the second half they have a few Twix up their sleeve. That's like a half time entertainment if someone's trying to kick the ball in the boot with a Suzuki. Ever made anyone go out and go, oh, you know what, I want a Suzuki? I think not. We've seen a shot target on the ball, I know! Simon, 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 Simon! Go, Gil! Sorry. Go, Gil, man! A demon just appeared from nowhere. Right, I can't ignore the lack of atmosphere. I think it's just the way the stadium's shaped. It just it can't work with this amount of fans in it. it just can't. It, it, I was saying to Ben, the atmosphere sounds a bit like when you go to either a charity match or COVID football. It just. It's too open. There's too many gaps in the fans. I'm not sure how you fix it with the stadium size. I don't know how you'd fix it because the, the, the average fans are high for like League Two. So it's like, it is purely a stadium issue. And I don't know how you'd fix it, but it is weird sitting here and watching a match that feels like it's a charity match. This is great. Three lads, a pie and a bob for each. That is peak male performance. We are currently watching a 39-year-old attacking fullback. English football, I don't know what to say. What do you want? Yeah, I mean, we are desperately scra- What can we do here? Get sparked out. Can someone I'm gonna go over there and ask if any of them actually want to hit me? Please, just make me feel something. I haven't felt something in months. It's not even, it's nothing to do with the perspective of the It's just it's a bad game of football. <laughs> Demon, now. Stranger. Yeah. Stud Demogorgon. Come on! So if you're going to do that all game, why are you going to do like a Demogorgon? once we now have to now we have to stay interesting experience that my perspective is this if you are under the age of 20 and live in Milton Keynes you're your closest team is MK Dons no issue with that it was also interesting speaking to the fans who moved over from being Wimbledon fans to the new club I'm not sure I'm sure the comment section will let me know whether there was context missed out or that was the accurate context either way I don't believe MK Dons are the UK's most hated football club is my conclusion on that. I think a lot of people, which is probably worse if you're an MK Dons fan, I think are just a bit indifferent to your existence. But I had fun. Bye. <laughs>